Hello and welcome to the Thursday, November 1st, 2018 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and I am recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Brad took a look at what's new with encrypted Word documents that are spreading malware. Encrypted documents, of course, have been used for quite a while in order to usually bypass some simple antivirus filters. Now, in this case, the password is 1234. It's mentioned within the body of the email, and the emails themselves are typically either resumes or invoices or at least that's what they claim to be. Brad is in particular discussing the various payloads that he has seen with these type of malicious documents over the last few years. Looks like more recently these emails are mostly distributing the NIMAME malware. Overall, some basic security awareness should probably take care of these type of emails. They have been around for so long that I think your users have probably seen them before. And then we have details regarding an interesting vulnerability in iOS and macOS that was patched with the release of iOS 12 and macOS Mojave. So this is not something that was patched yesterday when Apple released a number of updates, but this vulnerability was patched a couple months ago and the researcher discovering it now is releasing some details about the problem. And it's a good thing that Kevin Backhouse, who is this researcher, did hold back the details to give people time to patch because this is actually a quite severe and easy to exploit, at least potentially easy to exploit vulnerability. The problem here is in how these operating systems deal with ICMP errors. If an operating system sends an ICMP error back, it will copy the headers of the packet that caused the errors as part of the ICMP payload. So once a packet is received, for example, a UDP packet to a closed port, the operating system will create an error message and will copy the headers from this UDP packet as part of the ICMP errors payload. And this is apparently where the problem is happening in that the payload is copied, but the buffer this payload is copied into, that size isn't verified correctly. So a malicious packet that triggers an error message could be used to trigger this buffer overflow with, which does allow code execution within the kernel, so with full system access. A proof of concept has not been released, but will be released soon, according to the blog post. Now, given the information released yesterday, it's probably possible for someone to come up with an exploit relatively soon. So better make sure that you are patched, that you did apply iOS 12 and on macOS, that you're either on Mojave or did apply the prior security updates for Sierra and Hi Sierra. Now, a workaround available on OS X and Mac OS is to enable stealth mode on affected devices. This will prevent the generation of any ICMP error messages. On iOS, however, you don't have this setting available. And well, uh, talking about iOS for iOS 12.1, which was just released yesterday, we do have yet another lock screen bypass. Now, these type of lock screen bypasses have become rather routine. However, they often don't allow access to more than just the list of phone numbers or email addresses or the like. In this case, they essentially give an attacker access to your phone book. 
To trigger this lock screen bypass, the attacker has to start by dialing a number using Siri. And in general, it's a bad idea to enable too many features on the lock screen because that, like in this case, can then be used to bypass the lock screen or even just uh, makes too many features available to an attacker, like for example, being able to call a number using your phone. After the call is answered, the attacker then switches to FaceTime, turns on airplane mode next, and that then results in access to the contacts. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.